All right, SABC News reporter Matlako Komane is standing by with more details for us. A very good afternoon to Matlako. What's happening around you? Yes, good afternoon to you, Nzinga, and the viewers at home. We are here at Zadzani uh, Community Hall. Uh, Nzinga, here we are seeing that there is an interaction that is currently going on inside between representatives of uh, the families of the deceased as well as uh, the Deputy Minister of Transport there, as we've just heard her speak, Ms. Uh, Sindisiwe Chikunga, as well as uh, the MEC for Transport in the province and other officials. There are also people from your RAF, your Road Accident Fund, uh, you know, various people within uh, the transport departments both at national and uh, provincial level but earlier on you know um, where we heard uh, you know the deputy minister they're speaking about uh, their engagements or the investigations into um, you know that accident that took place there on Monday uh, we were at the Ilam hospital and later on moved to uh, Makado hospital in Louis Trichat where uh, you know they visited the various uh, patients of uh, you know p passengers rather that have been admitted at those uh, hospital uh, at those hospitals uh, within this area a lot of them uh, saying as early as yesterday when uh, we saw uh, you know the first person to start visiting to do a round of all these hospitals i think she visited about three or four hospitals was uh, mec uh, radzilani you know a, a lot of the people that we had gotten an opportunity to speak to saying that they were unhappy with the bus services so uh, not surprising when we hear the same sentiments being echoed even today uh, to the Deputy Minister of Transport. But uh, what we are trying to, you know, get is a, a, a view or an opinion or some sort of statement uh, from Mapiramiza. Uh, transport uh, bus services just to get an idea from them what you know uh, are they going to also be assisting families what is their view on that more so when you hear that communities say that their complaints have been ongoing uh, this is not the first time but up to so far in terms of uh, how many people have been deceased we're still sitting at 21 people that have lost their lives in this uh, particular bus accident but I think by the end of this meeting that's currently taking place as we speak we will then get an indication of uh, in terms of the logistics uh, be they uh, contributions or any assistance families feel that they may need uh, from the side of, of, of um, you know government at be it at a provincial or at a national level uh, so we are waiting on the outcomes of that meeting between uh, the families but you know even earlier on as we uh, were driving here you pass uh, that, that, that bridge just before the Hendrik Verwood tunnels where this accident took place. They are still cleaning up there. You can still see uh, the bus seats there where that bus uh, flew down into that particular river there. Uh, you know, in, on impact killing about 19 people and two later confirmed deceased at um, the hospital. But we still definitely need to give names and faces uh, to these 21 people. But what I am told and what I understand is that among them, mother and child, I think an infant child, one and the other child uh, in hospital. I mean, Nzinga, even as you are there at the, that scene, you're, you're seeing shoes. I mean, I saw yes, the, the smallest of of school shoes, of, of, of it's, it's a girl um, school shoe, uh, you know, you, you're just getting an understanding of what occurred there. there may, we even lunch boxes there. These were people that um, were coming from work, others from school. Uh, when we spoke to some of the injured yesterday, telling us this is their usual half past four uh, bus, but it took quite a deadly end for 21 of those people, of the 75 people that were aboard this particular bus on Monday afternoon in Zinga. Matlako Komane giving us an update from Makaro and Limpopo there. She is following that story and will keep us updated on the development.